Hello YouTubers, this is uh, Dr. Kevin Novak and today I want to talk about filter socks. Now I've been using these filter socks in my SCA aquarium, my 50 gallon aquarium with has its sump and of course uh, I use a 7 inch filter sock and I send it through the 22 Ehind 2215 canister, the green one and I also use a filter mat at the bottom of that. So first the water goes through the filter sock, then it goes through about a pound of activated carbon, and then it goes through the filter mat, blue filter mat. And uh, the filter sock, one thing I seen on YouTube is people are complaining that uh, they are nothing but nitrate factories or nitrate producers and therefore you shouldn't be using them. And after I heard that, I thought, no, I ought to correct this. That is really not telling the full truth about these filter socks. With all the research that I did on the anoxic filtration system and all the research on what really produces nitrates, the biggest culprit was a long time ago was undergravel filters. They were nitrate producers because they were acting as mechanical filters besides biological filters. And then came the canister filter. And canister filters are one of the biggest culprits of nitrate producers. As you see this canister filter, canister filter has not been changed since January 19th of 2017. And it's already uh, May 6 of 2017 so it has been changed in quite some time this Eheim and these become really nitrate producers because people go their cleaning periods of these canisters take so long hang on the back filters but it's either going to either be a canister filter or your gravel is going to be the biggest nitrate producers. Now, here's the problem. When people claim these filter socks are nitrate producers, that means their system is not balanced. And if you have more nitrate producers than users in your tank, bacteria that will use nitrates, then your tank is not balanced. Now you see this a lot if you look on plant forums and stuff like that. People say, oh, I have 15 parts per million nitrates. I have 20 parts per million nitrates. I have a planted aquarium. Actually, your aquarium should have zero nitrates. And because plants do not look for nitrates. Plants look for ammonia first. And they will utilize ammonia first, way before they will use nitrates out of the water. So you need to really have bacteria utilize excess nitrates in your water with phosphates than to rely on plants. Because plants, it would take way too many plants in a tank to really utilize nitrates to bring it down to zero. And most people will not plant a planted tank that, that full full of plants. It'd be nothing but plants. As you see in my tank, I have fish. And I have a few fish. And I don't have as many plants as I do fish. So if the sock is producing nitrates, I have bacteria utilizing the nitrates. And here's a test kit. I'm just going to do a test for you. I'm going to show you my tank. Hasn't had a water change since January. This is the same water that's been in it. All I do is add water. And I'm going to show you right now in here how many nitrates I have in my planted aquarium. Well, look at that. Zero. And I haven't done a water change since January in this SCA aquarium. The reason is this tank uses a plenum, which means the water is going in and out of the aquarium gravel constantly. Now, it, as it's going in and out, the oxygen is being used up, but it doesn't be, get used up completely. 
In other words, the oxygen levels are very low as they go through the gravel. About 2 parts per million to 0.5 parts per million. We're not talking about when people place their gravel right at the bottom of the tank where you get anaerobic bacteria. The bacteria you want to grow is called anaerobic heterotrophic factutata bacteria. And this bacteria is the exact bacteria you want to use that will allow nitrates to be converted over into denitrogen. And it will also steal the oxygen from phosphates. So when people who make these plants at aquariums place their gravel right on the bottom of their tanks, they're not utilizing their substrate correctly. And I, I see it all the time. And if you go on the farms, you'll see people complaining about how high their nitrates are. You just saw my nitrates. I don't do a water change. I haven't done one in months. Nitrates are down to zero. Yet, if this sock was a nitrate factory or a nitrate producer, and that sock has been in for over two weeks, don't you think my nitrates would be up? And even if it was producing nitrates, the substrate in my tank is utilizing the nitrates. It's stealing either the oxygen from them and turning it into denitrogen and the phosphates. So when people have a nitrate problem that use these socks, then their aquarium, their aquatic, you know, their bitope is out of balance and they're not doing things right. You just saw my tank and you just saw I have zero nitrates without doing a water change in months. And this is not normal because I'm using a plenum. I use a plenum in every tank I set up. No matter if it's my antique tank, no matter if it's my dust tank, all of them have a plenum. All of them have zero nitrates. And that's only because of the way a plenum works to allow oxygen to go through. And I'll give you an example that I use. If you went to a pond, let's say, and you took a 300 gallon aquarium and you stuck it in the pond and then you slid a piece of glass underneath that aquarium and then you took it out of the pond and you took it home, uh, you know, m imagine that scenario. You would have the perfect bitope, right? You, you would have the perfect aquarium. You had plants, you would have fish, you would have the perfect substrate. Everything would be perfect, right? Wrong. Because when you put that glass underneath it, you interfered with the intersection of topography. Okay, water no longer can go in and out. And as the water cannot go in and out, at the bottom of the glass starts anaerobic bacteria. And anaerobic bacteria just takes nitrates and converts it back into ammonia. And then the ammonia is released again, and that ammonia is then turned back into nitrates, and then the nitrates are turned back into ammonia. You see the cycle? You're not getting rid of nitrates, so the nitrates just keep building up. In a tank like I show, and I explain it in my other videos, because I'm using a plenum, the water is able to go in and out of the gravel very slowly, or your substrate. And therefore, it builds a specialized bacteria, just like the anoxic filtration system does. And that bacteria utilizes nitrates and steals its oxygen. And it will take phosphates, if there's phosphates in the gravel, and it will steal its oxygen. And it will utilize that oxygen, and it will utilize and other food sources. So the next time someone says these socks are a nitrate factory, well, they're not a nitrate factory. If they use anything like a canister or a hang on the back filter or if they use any of these uh, filters that they put carbon in, all those then become nitrate factories. So what's the difference if you use one of these socks? So if you utilize a sock and allow it to get clogged up and it starts running over the top, then change it. That's fine. But if your system all of a sudden starts building up nitrates, then you got to realize your system's out of balance and you just did your aquarium incorrectly. You designed it incorrectly and built it incorrectly. 
So until next time, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.